This is Twit. This is the Yoda Phone 2. That's the Yoda Phone 2. Yes, let me unlock it here. Yeah, uh, that side. There you go. So uh, you here go. you can see it. So this is the front. Looks and like dun, 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 magically, you've got a back. You've got an e-paper display on the back. And the cool thing about this e-paper display is that you can actually mirror the entire front of the display. Let me show you right now. Like this. And then now the, the back is, is being turned off. And I'm going to operate the entire phone from the e ink panel. Um, so, yeah, you know, I can start uh, the camera app, for example, here. That's and, wacky. Uh, and then we can do like a little selfie action with the rear camera, which is cool, right? And then, of course, uh, if I lock it now, um, I can flip it over, basically. Um, let's see here. It's sometimes a little cranky. But, uh, you know, we're back in the camera app, and you can see the, the picture I took in color now um, with the rear camera. So that's, uh, personally, the mirroring is a new feature because the old Yoda phone did not have, um, it, you know, it, it didn't have a full touch screen in the back. It had uh, just a little swipe area at the bottom. So now you can, like, in dual display mode like this, you can throw these widgets to the back or, like, your... You know, it shows you notifications. Like, so your phone is resting on the table, update notifications. And remember, the e-ink only uses power when it gets updated. So if you throw a screenshot, which you can, by the way, there's a really cool functionality. Look, if I go like this, it throws the entire screen as is to the back. So if you have like a note or something you want to memorize and you're worried your battery's going to die, you can just throw it in the back as a screenshot and it'll stay there forever. Um, and then, of course, you get the mirror mode as a new thing because the entire thing is a touchscreen now. So if you want to read a book or even just do a quick few emails, you can save yourself battery life significantly yes. by using the back. It's great for travel um, or something yeah. like that. I can see that. Yeah, yeah totally. and then the, the front, and then in terms of specs, this is a pretty nice device. It's pretty much the same as this Nexus 5 that's sitting next to me uh, in terms of specs. It's a 1080p 5-inch display, but it's AMOLED. It's a really beautiful display. I don't know if we can zoom on it. You guys can see the color rendition and... Uh, the quality of this uh, of this screen, but it does not look like an, uh, an AMOLED panel. It looks like the new Samsung AMOLED, which is really gorgeous. Uh, and then it has, you know, two megapixel front-facing camera, earpiece, the sensors and stuff. Uh, no capacitive buttons there, you know, software buttons. Uh, on the side here, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but there's a power lock key and a volume rocker. And in typical Yoda phone fashion, the first version the power button was on top, and the entire power button was the SIM tray. Mm -hmm. So this time they did the volume rocker as a SIM tray. You can just put a little pin in here and pop out, and it's a nano SIM under there. There's still no micro SD card, but it's 32 gigs of built-in storage. Uh, nothing on the other That's side good. here. You get the usual ports at the bottom for USB and, and headphones. And so in the back, see, there's my screenshot still sitting there happily. And that's not backlit, right? No, so no. So if you're in this darkness, is, that is dark. It, it's completely dark. Yeah. So you need a okay. light source yep. of some kind. Uh, so you've got an 8 megapixel camera with a LED. Nothing to write about. This camera is passable, I would say. The 13 on the old phone was higher end. And hmm. it's not about megapixels, but it was actually a better camera. Um, and so, you know, 2,500 milliamp hour battery, Snapdragon 801, 2 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, it's pr pretty much an, an XS5 clone at this mm -hmm. point. It looks almost the same in terms of thickness and, and size, as you can see. So, a little this tiny bit the bigger. shape yeah. reminds me of the old Galaxy S. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 The bezel, yeah. the bezel. It's yeah. a very yeah. generic shape. And as kind you can see, kind it's, of it's, yeah. it's running, up, it's running a pretty, it. like, stock version of Android which is really nice. It's got some apps here that let you configure what appears on the rear of the screen, including uh, there's an ebook functionality. You can see you can customize your widgets here. Um, oh, on the back. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, cool. so you can have... Um, yeah. So to me, the mirroring is a big deal, but I think a lot of people are going to enjoy the fact that they can do both screens simultaneously. There's rumors this phone is coming to potentially T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, right now, if you import this, you can only use on HSPA+. Plus. I'm on AT&T right now, and I can't get LT, even though this is LT capable, but it's not the right bands. So don't import it. It's also really expensive, like something like $700 or oh, something. Geez. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, considering you can get a Nexus and it's built like a Nexus, it's mostly plastic, uh, I would say maybe wait till it becomes available in a carrier. But let's put it this way. This is not a gimmick. This is cool. And I could see a real good future for this. Hmm. Um, there are some cases out there available that add that functionality to iPhones and stuff. And I think this is going to be a, become a big deal. And... Um, 
You know, it's it's not a gimmick. It was a gimmick on the first one because you didn't have the full touch screen. Yeah, the, the touch screen right. that, that really changed. And also, things. the specs on the <clears> first one were kind of meh for its time already when it shipped. This is shipping a year after launching, and its specs are you know kind of low end of the high end. Mm -hmm. You know, 801 is starting to fall off the cliff a bit. Yeah. But it it performs like it feels snappy. It's a usable phone. I never feel like I'm giving up anything right now except for the LT support. And no unintended touches on whatever no, screen you're um, not using. So one of the things that's interesting is like you have to unlock it as you can see there's a little lock here and you actually have to really be intentional put your finger down and sl slide up is the only way you're going to get there and uh you know right now um it's got the widgets on the back um let me just show you like i have to intentionally go this way to get the mirroring going and then mm. i'm back in mirror mode now i can pull down the the shade and look at my notifications <laughs> you know that's crazy i can i can go into Google. it's like watching an Watch, etch sketch here you know impressed. yeah yeah I'm I'm browsing. I was looking for a place called Milk when I was in Silver Lake in LA. So let's uh, browse the web. There you go. It's way more responsive much, than I thought. It, it than is, I would isn't think. it? Look yeah, at it. yeah. Like the low time, yeah, usable. the refresh rate and stuff and like that. Is, like, look at that. You can even yeah. do this. I mean, it just works. And yeah, uh, just if you so tried running like a custom version of Android on any of the Nook devices that use e-ink screens, they they run at maybe a quarter of that speed, and that's, um, that's, no, that's very and usable right there. Also, yeah. I didn't mention the resolution on the back display. It's a quarter HD. Uh, 960 by 540, it's 4.7 inches. So five inch in front, 4.7 in the back. Honestly, for uh, e-ink, this is a pretty high res display. Yeah, I mean, it, and, looks, it looks good. And it looks good, you know? And so I think this is a this is no longer a gimmick. Hmm. And I think that if you come down in price a little bit, I think it'll be- uh, I, I think it's still a gimmick. <clears throat> I, I, I mean, it's cool, it's a cool gimmick, but it's still a gimmick. It's, <laughs> eh, you I, know, know, I think they've I, been very smart with it. I don't, the yeah. thing that, that, that start, turned like, me off of the original, so, sorry, go ahead. I felt that way too yeah. at first, but I now I've been using it for two weeks. I love it. Yeah. That you start using it. You start right, actually, yeah. and the, you see the battery life savings. You're like, I don't need color to answer yeah. my email. Yeah. I don't need or color text to answer my email. Yeah, 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 I can see that.